A single for Sando DeAngelis. 17-11 the score. And the Rough Riders take over at their own 39. They have 17 points on their last four possessions. Darian Durant steps up. Takes off. And is stumbled down at the 47-yard line. And it'll come up smiling. Thought he had a little bit more. Good conversation with Darian Durant yesterday. Asked him whether or not he felt any nerves about his first playoff start. He has 22 starts, which is really amazing when you consider he has led this football team to first place finish. First time in such a long time. 14 wins in the 22 starts, but he said none of that matters unless we win the West Final and move to the Grey Cup. Scampered for seven, second and three. And it's Keats. Tate George brings him down short. Now, Rough Riders will be looking at a third and one. Maybe a little bit more. Tate George is a good afternoon for the Calgary Stamp Beaters. He was not with the Stamps when they won the Cup last year. It's taken him a while to settle back into that yard off the ball after coming back from his NFL tryout. And he played pretty well in the semifinal. Had three tackles against Edmonton. But over the last three weeks has really felt more comfortable at Piers. See how close Saskatchewan is here. So it will be a third and one decision for Ken Miller. <laughs> mentioned Darian Durant. He will come to the sidelines and uh, Stephen Giles will come on. He often is in contact with Henry Burris who has been a bit of a mentor. He watches tape of Anthony Calvillo every week, and now those are the two men standing in his way of a Grey Cup title. Stephen Giles back in, and they're going for it on third and a yard. He's fumbled in this situation, and this time the surge is probably enough for a first down. Looked like he got close to the 50, and it is. They talked about Gary Durant, Chris, and, and I thought what was maybe the most impressive and really is an indication of the intangible, that leadership ability, the leadership qualities that Darian Durant possesses is during the bye week, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, a lot of the players went home as every team does in their bye week. Darian Durant, who had had some interception issues early in the season, went back, stayed here in Saskatchewan, studied himself, self-evaluated on the videotape, and looked at every mistake he made and how he could make it better. First down. Armstead's going to throw. Rob Badge wide open. And dropped at the 18-yard line. Milton Collins saves a touchdown. We saw Armstead in Winnipeg in the Labor Day rematch throw a touchdown out of that formation. And we've seen this play, and Paul LaPolice as Armstead comes on that reverse. The offensive coordinator calls this play in the first quarter and has Armstead run it. This time he has him come up, come across the formation, make it look exactly the same. He pulls up, and he finds a raw, wide open raw bag. And you're right, Colin saves a touchdown. Armstead two for two as a passer this year. Wes Cates. And Cates stopped after another short gain as Robaday and Hughes bring him down. Darian Durant right after that pointed to his chest saying that was my fault. That's that same play that Calgary likes to run on the zone read type play. He thought he should have pulled that one and kept it to the outside. He had a lot of room to run there. It goes he wanted to pull this out and he ended up giving it. Or maybe Wes Cates just took it. So just a yard second and nine. Durant. Touchdown, and twos, and bang. Been a pretty, pretty good weekend for Queens, hasn't it?
nationality makes no difference. It's just good football players. Rob Bag is running against all-star corners. This is the formula that the Rough Riders have used all season long. The Canadian Air Force. Extra point. And it's a 13-point lead. Got a flag on that convert. Outside, Calgary number 27. A five-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. 24-11, they're loving it here in Regina. Rob Bag on the corner route here, runs it absolutely perfectly and takes advantage of a mistake from Dwayne Carpenter, who's dropping deep, trying to help Keon Raven. He's right there. He needs to get deep and help out on this corner. He gets caught looking in the backfield. That leaves Raymond in a one-on-one, -on -one, but a perfect route on the corner by Rob Bag. Top Canadian for the Rough Riders this year, a guy who made the team in 07 and then told the coach, I'm going back to school, so he was not part of the Great Cup Championship team of 2007. Sakota kicking it downfield. It's a 24 to 1 run here for the Rough Riders. And Demetrius Summers trying to change that up across the 35. Stan Peters will have the football when we come back. That's what this weekend for Great Cup Saturday as TSN gets you ready for the big game with eight hours of Great Cup features behind the scenes coverage. And the 2009 Vanier Cup, it all gets underway live from Calgary at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Will we be painting the town red or green? Congratulations to Montreal. They'll be back in a big way. Henry Burris trying to silence the crowd, looks downfield, and Gene Patrick has the interception. Playing center field. the way Henry Burris has played through last season and this. He tries to get all that momentum back on one play and this is a throw he should never have made. James Patrick is just flowing, reading Henry Burris and moving into that position as he goes across and just reads the eyes and the throwing motion of the quarterback. No way Burris should have let that one go. Mentioned last week in the wake of the loss in the regular season finale that you can only take what's given against Saskatchewan. You can't get greedy. Here's Javon Walker taking that swing pass close to a first down. Let's go back to the touchdown and the reason why Henry Burris has got greedy all of a sudden. There's Bag again. Here's the help you're supposed to get, and it's supposed to be over the top here. I'll show you. It's three deep for the Calgary Stampeders on that play. We're only rushing with three guys. Now watch. They've got one deep man there. They've got one deep man there. They're missing the third deep guy in the zone coverage. That's Dwayne Carpenter. That's where Rob Bag goes. Touchdown Saskatchewan. And that forces a bad decision on the next play by Henry Burris at quarterback. Walker with 10 on the first down and a fumble. And Stu Ford picks it up and tries to make something out of it. Look out. Miguel Robidet lowered the boom. That was the kind of greeting I got from Miguel Roberday <laughs> yesterday when I mentioned the Queens beat Laval. Miguel Roberday getting a chance to play for Mike Lobinjo, who is here in support of his team but not dressed. The hero from a year ago in the playoffs, and Miguel Roberday has made a couple of big plays. He made one in the first quarter. That's a good one to put Saskatchewan in the second long try to quiet this crowd. Robidet, who took the job away from Mike Labinjo, who's watching on the sidelines, a postseason hero for Calgary a year ago. Second and long, Durant rolling. Robidet trying to stay with him. And Durant runs out of time and wisely throws that away. Good decision by Darian Durant. I mentioned those interception issues 
early in the season. He had 21 on the year, which was a concern, but only nine interceptions of the 21 in the second half. He's got better at it. Of course, a young quarterback like Durant, as far as experience and starts goes, he's going to have his days. He's going to have his peaks and valleys, but a good decision here. Didn't have to take the big hit, though. Could have done that a second earlier. So Sakota comes on. And Marcus Howell awaits. Oh, on the Ball on the turf. And it'll be a no yards call. As Howell moves up to the 44-yard line, that's a five-yard penalty. Here well, we the go, TSN chalkboard is brought go, to you baby. by Olamel, microwavable chicken wings. Early on, Calgary had success with that zone read play. And let me show you how Stevie Baggs has started to talk them out of it. He's slow playing it, coming up to the line of scrimmage. That way he has the ability to go in either direction. He can stop Joffrey Reynolds inside or stay wide and run down Henry Burris. First three plays, Calgary ran it. They ran it in the opposite direction. They had a little success. Stevie Baggs shut the door on their last attempt. Let's see if Calgary goes back to that type of play. They've got lots of time, and Henry Burris does not have to go after all of the momentum in one throw. He's got Brian to catch at midfield. That's close to a first down. Looks like a gain of nine for Robbie Bryant who had just one catch two weeks ago here in the showdown for first place. Touchdown last week in the West Semi against Edmonton, as did the other former bomber in the offense, R.J. Franklin. Second half possessions for Calgary, a missed field goal, the interception. And now they've got the ball, second and less than a yard at midfield. They take the reverse, and trouble here, Bang! Couldn't bring it down, but Ray Williams does. And they go from second and inches to third and six. Ray Williams has his second sack of the game. Yeah, and rather than just try and get that first down, they try and see if they can fool the Saskatchewan defense. But guess what? They are not fooling the guy that we just chalkboard. Stevie Banks, who is not fooled by the play action, takes care of his responsibility first and buys some time for his teammate in Ray Williams to step up and make the play and finish off Henry Burris. But the play is made by the patience of Stevie Banks. Banks with 14 tackles and three sacks in the first three meetings against Calgary. Another short kick, and Armstead will take it at his 20. A little stutter step. And up to the 30, and he skips out on the final play of the third quarter. It was a big one for Darian Durant and the Rough Riders. 